Good morning, I'm Adam Sexton. This last week was one of the most shocking and difficult in recent memory at the State House, as House Speaker Dick Hinch passed away suddenly on December 9th, and then the next day, an autopsy by the State Medical Examiner's Office determined he died of COVID-19. As the state remembers a public servant who was quick with a smile and built strong relationships in Concord, officials are also trying to sort out potential exposures at the State House and how legislative work will move forward after the new year. Joining us this morning to discuss, Representative Stephen Smith, a Republican from Charlestown, and House Democrat leader Rennie Cushing of Hampton. Thank you for joining us, representatives. Good to be here. First, Representative Smith, your recollections of Speaker Hinch as a man and as a leader. Uh, Dick was, um, his approach was to build a family rather than a team, to recognize that you know we're not always going to agree on things and we have way different styles. His style and mine are certainly different. And despite that, you know, we're able to work together. He was uh, positive believed in empowering people, and it's, it's just a, a great loss. Now, Representative Cushing, you've served in the House for decades now alongside hundreds of representatives. What are you going to remember about Representative Hinch, the man? You know, well, first of all, my heart goes out to his family for their loss, and I just want to acknowledge that it may be a big legislative body, but it's really a small community. And I have memories of Dick over the years. We worked together on we had shared legislation together. Um, and this the legislature itself is in the middle of a grieving process. We're mourning. Um, and in doing knowing that, we still have to honor Dick uh, and honor our institution by moving forward. It was a little over a week ago now that Organization Day happened and Speaker Hinch was presiding over all of that. Representative Smith, was there any sign at all that he was ill? Um, not to me. I actually hadn't been around him much that day or immediately before. I mean, we had talked on the phone and no, I just I didn't know. Did not see this coming. And Representative Cushing, you've called for testing now uh, to be made available for everyone who was at Organization Day. Obviously, a lot of Democrats opted out of that. Uh, also, testing for State House staff. You're concerned, particularly under the Golden Dome there, there could have been exposures with people in the building? You know, absolutely. It's not just that we lost the speaker. We also have a member of the speaker's staff who's tested positive. Uh, we asked yesterday... Uh, uh, Senator Susie and I asked that there be testing for all legislative staff and for all uh, legislators who've participated in it, uh, in a sense, particularly with the staff. They're just required to be there. It's not a matter of voluntarily uh, go there. We have a right to make, we have a responsibility to make sure that the business of the state is done in a way that is protective of legislators, that is protective of staff and protective of members of the public. We, of course, don't know yet how, or we may never know how, Speaker Hinch contracted COVID-19. There was the November 20th caucus of the Republican Party at the McIntyre Ski Area. Public Health had determined there were a handful of cases that arose from that event. Representative Smith, your fellow House Republican, uh, William Marsh, a doctor, tweeted, quote, those in our caucus who refuse to take precautions are responsible for Dick Hinch's death. What was your reaction when you saw that? We have to forgive people for things they say out of grief. Um, Oh my goodness. So when I was 19, my mother died suddenly and unexpectedly. You know, I found her. And my goodness, the things that I said to people after that, I wish I could take a lot of them back and some of them did permanent damage. But um, Bill was expressing his grief. People need to not fight about it. And the most important thing to do right now is that when we do, remember that Dick's legacy was not that he built a team, not that he built a caucus, but that he built a family, and you're supposed to forgive family. So I wish Bill hadn't said it, but I get it. Leader Cushing, what, what are your perspective, uh, is your perspective there on Representative Marsh's comments? I should point out he's also a medical doctor. Yeah, I mean, he's the, he's the only doctor who's a member of the Republican caucus. I respect his opinion. I think he spoke his truth. Um, I'm concerned that we that there are some people who think that there is a, a right to infect others with the virus uh that there's a uh, you know a freedom to spread the caucus uh that just does not exist i want us to move forward in a way that trusts and follows science i want to take the politics out of this debate and i'm looking forward to working with the republican leadership and the clerk to make sure that when we ha we meet again in january we're able to do so in a way that creates a hybrid situation where those who have 
concerns and want to follow the guidelines about the pandemic are able to meet and participate and vote uh, and do so remotely, which our Supreme Court has said we have the authority to do. And Representative Smith, it was a priority of Speaker Hinch to get back to in-person committee work and sessions as quickly as possible, as long as it was safe. Do you think this loss of the Speaker will, will change the perspective at all on that in the Republican caucus? Uh, no, because I don't really think anybody understood what the perspective was. Engineering firms have been contacted to figure out what we can do to put in, you know, uh, bacteriological scrubbers, UV lighting in the LOB air circulation system. We're going to figure out how to be able to open the building safely, and that's going to be an engineering decision and a health decision, and it should not be a political decision. I'm not qualified to de decide what the safe building is. And, you know, and to put that into perspective, to make politics out of it, I don't know how many people would go into the LOB on a normal day, but everybody's going to Walmart today, right? And they go into Market Basket, and you're going to interact with hundreds of people. And it's personally frustrating me that we pick out situations like this, where people have a right to participate in government, regardless of whether or not they've got high technology or a really good internet connection, and that there isn't a building that they can just go to, to express themselves. That has to be a priority. I mean, if we can go to all these other places, we can figure this out. What are your thoughts on that, Representative Cushing, this idea that uh, well, access might be an issue for folks? You know, I, I, I think we take care of the access. I will point out that the Democratic caucus, 187 of us, met debated for three hours, elected a new leader who I, I fortunately was the was selected. And we did so without having anyone be infected because we met and did that remotely. We have the entire uh, the reality is we are in a global pandemic. We have the responsibility to toward public safety to follow the guidelines and we have the ability through technology to meet remotely and we should do that. Um, I will just I, I make the observation that the one meeting that took place under Speaker Hinch's tenure was uh, last Tuesday, the House Facilities Committee met, and we did that remotely. So certainly I know it's consistent with how Speaker Hinch had um, acted in his early days that there would be a proviso for people to meet remotely. And Leader Cushing, you know, Democrats opted out of Organization Day in large part. We're hearing that the next session is likely going to be indoors in January. Are Democrats going to show up? Well, I wouldn't, I, I, I think it's too premature to say where we will meet in January. I think it's a subject that's going to be part of ongoing negotiations. And I am confident that at the end of the day, we will have a situation where we will have a hybrid where people can participate safely, be that from their, you know, th th their home or be that in person. Um, but we're going to put public safety paramount. We have a responsibility to lead and to set the example, not to flaunt the, the um, flaunt the, the recommendations of uh, our medical profession. I, I think Governor Sununu yesterday recognized that when he was asked at a press conference and gave his blessing, so to speak, to a situation where the House could meet remotely in part uh, on the next session day when we select a new speaker. Representative Smith, uh, Speaker Hinch was unique in, in the sense that he could hold up that big tent for the GOP and get everyone to the table. Uh, that caucus has a lot of diversity in it, even if it, everyone has an R after their name. Is there anyone else in the caucus who can do that, or are we going to start to see some of those fractures emerge? That's family business. I don't even want to bring it up because there is no matter how well I craft my answer to you, you know, it'll start something. The caucus will decide. I have confidence that Dick built a strong enough family that they're going to get together on this and honor his memory. You know, the, so organization day and taking care of all the DHHS protocols. If uh, MUR covers this, I hope that you keep your cameras on during lunchtime because during lunchtime, the masks come off, people walk around and socialize, and I'm just done with political statements that aren't backed up by actions. That's what happened that day. And uh, I mean, there's, there's pictures of people standing literally face to face while they're having lunch. You know, if we're gonna take it seriously, we're gonna take it seriously. And as far as the court decision goes, the nugget that people keep ignoring there is that the chair still has to determine that the uh, quorum is present and who they are. So it was, I mean, it's a technology issue to work out how you do a vote. How do you know that I didn't go to the bathroom and tell my wife, hey, when House Bill XYZ comes up, 
here's the button that you push or here's what you type. Those issues need to be worked out before we can start having house sessions remotely. Having said that, yeah, we're looking at it. We're looking at ways to break people up. We obviously can't put everybody in representatives hall, but as I said earlier, these are engineering and health decisions, not political ones. And we are working through that right now. All right, Representative Smith and Leader Cushing, uh, thanks so much for your time. Uh, certainly a lot of questions to answer ahead, but a lot of uh, morning of Speaker Inch to do as well. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Adam.